what makes the American Pitbull Foundation so great is the fact that they focus on education. You know, there's 3,000 pit bulls that die every single day. And instead of you know, focusing on, let's just put these in homes, we can focus on things like changing the public's perception. Volunteering with the American Pitbull Foundation is quite different than other organizations. We have passionate people, but what makes this organization great is that we focus on the education side. So it's not just pulling dogs and rescuing them, putting them in, ho in homes. It's how do we change the public perception? And when we do that, all of a sudden we don't have to save 3,000 pit bulls a day. We can get that number down to hopefully zero one day. The most important thing to understand is that dogs are individual. It doesn't matter what breed class they're in. It doesn't matter what group you categorize them in. Same with the bully breeds. They're all individuals. Every dog on this planet is a composition of its genetics and its environment combined into one. Whether you're a pit bull, whether you're a chihuahua, you're a Labrador retriever, no matter what, that's what you are. You're a product of your environment as well as your genetics. So it's important for people to look at all dogs as individuals when approaching them from training, behavior, personality, characteristics, traits, all of these things that make up the individual dog, instead of looking at them as a breed class. So as a veterinarian, we do see and treat all kinds of breeds of animals, and pit bulls definitely have a um, reputation and a misconception about how they can be as a family pet. Some of the most wonderful family pets that we've run into are pit bulls. Um, so there's definitely, it's important that people understand that with responsible ownership and the appropriate care and training early on that they can be wonderful companions and family pets. There are laws in effect in several cities throughout the United States that actually bans uh, pit bull type dogs. Um, and that doesn't just classify the American Pit Bull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier. That classifies dogs that look like pit bulls, that happen to be muscular, that could be brindle, that could have a blocky head, that could be any other number of different breeds combined into one, but they're classified and they're banned. And it's important for people to understand that a ban means that their life is in danger. You can have had a family dog and you're living in one of these cities and you've had this dog for 10 years of your life, it sleeps in the bed with your kids and someone one day can knock on your door and take that dog because it looks like a pit bull and they can kill that dog or they can force you to move out of a city. I will know that I've done my job when people aren't afraid for no reason anymore. That they understand that pit bull type dogs are dogs and dogs are individuals. That that's a common understanding. That the American Pitbull Terriers are back to being the all-American dog, the all-American family dog. One of the things that we are really excited about is our newer program, which is Operation Sidekick. Operation Sidekick takes rescued pit bulls that are pregnant from the sheltering system. We raise them, we train them, and we provide them at no cost to veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. We came across this idea for this program by a simple conversation in regards to how could we take some of these dogs with such fantastic temperaments and how could we utilize that to change the stereotype but in turn help people at the same time. Um, in this particular situation, uh, because my service dog is a pit bull, I fell in love with the breed and this is something that I can actively do to help other veterans and it's also rewarding in its own right. I've, I can't think of any other way to, to better help people by training emotional support dogs and service dogs for uh, combat veterans. Oh, I think American Pit Bull Foundation is not. Um, or else I wouldn't be with the organization. I believe in their mission, their vision, and everything that they're about. I will feel better that I've, I've done a good job when I know that people aren't having to face surrendering their animals over simple behavioral issues or trying to relocate and find a new place to live. When we're not getting these calls for help, hey, I can't find a place to live, I don't know what to do with my dog, I'm gonna have to euthanize, I'm gonna have to surrender. When those stop, I'll know that I've done my job.